Okay, so here's problem one, which is factoring when AC is positive. So here we're going to use the um, AC method. I'm going to use the AC method that we briefly looked at in the intro. And we're going to multiply, let's see, let me just rewrite, rewrite our trinomial here. We've got A, let me put this on top. We've got A, x squared, plus bx, plus c. Okay, so when we use the AC method, we're going to multiply A times C. So we're going to multiply 6 times 5, which is 30. Now, this is the number that we're going to uh, get the factors of. So we want to get the factors. of this number. Okay, so we're going to get the factors of that number. So the factors of 30, well, of course, we've got 1 times 30. We've got 2 times 15. We've got 3 times 10. And we have 5 times 6. Now, if you look at those factors, when you add them up, you want to make sure uh, that you can get that middle term. So we want which one of those factors that when I add them, I'm going to get a positive 13. Well, there it is right there. 3 plus 10. So 3 plus 10 is equal to 13. So this is the one that we're going to use. All right, so now we're going to rewrite this 13x using 3x and 10x, okay, 3x and 10x. All right, so we've got uh, 6x squared, then we're going to rewrite the 13x, so that's going to be plus 3x plus 10x, and then write the rest of it, plus 5. Okay, so now you have two uh, binomials if you just group them together. So we're going to group those two together, and we will group these two together. We could say that the, uh, I, we could include the plus in there too. So you're going to group a pair of your binomials. So now, once we have grouped them, now we're going to um, factor out the greatest common factor of each pair. So here, for 6x squared plus 3x, the greatest common factor is 3x. For 10x plus 5, the greatest common factor is just 5. Okay, so now remember, when you factor out, when you are factoring out the greatest common factor, that GCF goes on the outside of the parentheses. So we have 3x times whatever's left up here. So 3x, well, let's do 6 divided by 3 is 2. And x squared divided by x is x. And of course, 3x divided by 3x is 1. And then on the other term, we're going to factor out the GCF 5. So that's going to be plus 5. And then we're, um, 10 divided by 5 is 2x. And then one, I mean 5 divided by 5 is 1, plus 1. Now, if you, if you grouped them correctly and you factored correctly, then you'll, you should notice that you should have two binomials that are exactly the same. Those are now the binomials that you will be factoring out of this entire expression. So the 2x plus 1, and both of those will both come out. We're factoring out the 2x 
plus 1. So we're going to factor out this 2x plus 1 and this 2x plus 1. Okay, so when we do that, the 2x plus 1 goes on the outside of the parentheses. So there's a 2x plus 1. And then we, um, actually let me write that in, in a different color. We're going to factor out the 2x plus 1, and then we'll have to see what's left. Well, let's see, the, the 2x plus 1 here and the 2x plus 1 here will cancel, and what's left is the 3x. And over here, again, the 2x plus 1 and the 2x plus 1 will cancel, and we're left with a positive 5. And there you have your two binomials. This is your final answer. Okay? Done. And then, of course, how are we going to check it? We're going to use our FOIL method. Let me write final answer so we know which one it is. And then, let's check with the FOIL. Let's write check with FOIL. Okay? So we've got 2x plus 1 times 3x plus 5. And with FOIL, let's see here, we've got the first 2x times 3x is 6x. The outer, which is the 2x plus 5, that's 10x. Then we have the inner which is that, uh, 1 times 3x, which is 3x. And then we have the last, 1 times 5, which is 5. And if you'll notice here, look, there's my 10x plus 3x, 10x plus 3x, okay? And then, of course, we can simplify, and that gets, that's supposed to be squared there. Okay, so this is going to be 6x squared plus 13x plus 5, and that is what we started with, so our final answer is correct.